If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. If you're just joining, then welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive reader, and this is this particular video is going to be for singles, love, romance. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, you're more than welcome to. Let's get into the video. So, we're basically just going to see what's going on in your love life. If you're looking for love, if not, then let's see. I'm pretty sure you're looking for love, though. And one thing that just popped out is separation. So, you could have just recently got out of a relationship. This could be for you. Because the next card you have is release your ex. And the last card that fell out is express your love. So expressing your love could mean a few different things. Oh, and the last card is new love. Okay. Oh, goodness. Another card is it's safe for you to love. And then this is going to be the last card. I'm going to stop doing a deck. And then the last card is keep an open mind. So y'all, y'all really um out here in these streets about to find love again, huh? I'm gonna do the go and tarot to see what's going on with this situation. And then the vice versa deck just to clarify the situation after that and see what's going on in your love life. It seems like you're about to be in separation from someone, or if you recently just got a divorce, um, it's actually love on the horizon. Let's dig in. Yeah, so definitely that on top of separation, we got the high priestess, which is it could have been a marriage. And on top of the marriage, you got divorced. It's not always a good thing, but it's always a great thing sometimes because you, you have to learn things through that relationship and love. To get to somewhere else. And it's... You took a leap of faith into that relationship. And hopes that it worked out. Everything is not meant, meant to be forever. Some things. Not all things. This particular situation wasn't meant to be forever. Not right now. You have the Knight of Swords. So, if you're thinking of someone... They're coming in, like, kind of to save you. Like, they're more on the verge of cutting through and getting themselves together. Cutting through the past and cutting through all the bull crap. We have the lover's card. This person really loves you. This could be someone from your past that you already knew. Yeah, because... I'm just going to put that on there. That's the um, Ace of Cups. With this person, you feel as though you have wish fulfillment. Excuse me, guys. The card fell, so I got to get that. A brief little intermission. Someone is currently in hermit mode. So they probably haven't reached out to you just yet. But they will. They definitely will. They're in their head about going into a new love. Could be with you. It's definitely with you though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Okay. So definitely, this is... Definitely a relationship from the past. You already know this person. This person already know you. Queen of Swords. It's, um, after this divorce, you kind of is guarded. It doesn't necessarily have to be a divorce. It could be a breakup as well. With the Queen of Swords, we got the King of Cups. 
So this person is going to bring you emotional fulfillment. This person... This person is definitely a water sign. I feel as though with this situation, you've been hurt. Kind of like someone did you wrong, or you feel as though they did you wrong. It's like, you don't want to give to this energy anymore. The Four of Pentacles. You're kind of frugal with your money right now. You're not saving. You're just spending because you have it and you just want to. This person goes from a Knight of Wands to the Death card to a transformation into the King of Wands. They're definitely looking to come back into your life to just reignite things. They're in their head. They're definitely in their head. We have the hangman. And that's from the vice versa tarot. It's like they're not really looking at the situation from your standpoint. It's just from theirs at the moment. We have the two of wands. They're ready to move towards you. They're ready to show you this decision that they've been contemplating back and forth over and over and over again. Like I said, we have the Three of Swords, which both of you have been hurt before. Both of you don't know how this situation is going to unfold. You don't know if this person loves you, honestly. The next card we have is the Six of Swords. This person is going to just pop up. It's not even going to be a call and talk. It's going to be a pop-up. And with the Six of Swords, it's movement. So it's like, I, hey, I'm back in town. How you doing? What you up to? Let's meet up. It's going to be a beautiful pop-up, though. We have the Seven of Cups. It's like they're daydreaming about the situation. They're definitely daydreaming. And again, another card that popped up is the lover's card. Now you got two lover's cards out here. But this particular lover's card is both of you daydreaming about each other. Both of you at night thinking of each other. Maybe you're listening to music that reminds you of them vice versa but it's like you reminiscing both of you guys are reminiscing right now it's not even you, you're not talking you're definitely not talking yet but you're reminiscing let's get one more card this card just really wants to come out both of them, I'm, they both came together. So, we have the magician manifestation. Even if you want to say that you're not manifesting this, both of you are manifesting. If you don't want to admit to it yet, that's, that's perfectly fine. But in the long run, you have the two of swords. There's a decision to be made. You haven't made a decision yet on what you're supposed to be doing or what you want to do in this situation. And the reason I say it's supposed to because this situation calls for you to have love, to be open, to express everything that you need to express. A heart message that fell out is, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. some more love messages you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the event in your life through term oil a blessing is soon to be revealed 
Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. You definitely got love here. You may not have been in the relationship with the right person. Or this situation could be coming to an end now. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Enjoy the emotional feel feelings that you're getting. That was so choppy, you guys. I'm sorry. Enjoy it. It's for you. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Support their challenges. Support what they're going through. You support it. They're going to support you. It's an energy exchange. It's just the right thing. You give half, they give half. It's a balance. Okay? And the last card is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically unfold. You're not trusting that this situation will come about because this is what you truly want. You just don't know how it's going to work out. Stop having... Stop... Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Control issues. That's the thing that keeps popping in my head. Stop having control over the situation. Stop, stop trying to control the situation. Let it unfold naturally. I'm just trying to pick up a little more. I just feel like this one was just a little choppy because I'm getting two different sides of this story. It's like one person want to come forth and then the other person is so detached. It's like that's what's blocking this connection. One person is being honest and true that this is what they want and the other person is kind of on the verge of denial if this is what's truly in your heart go for it I'm not saying contact nobody and I'm not saying just give up everything and run to this person what I'm saying is let it progress stop trying to hold the situation down stop trying to put boundaries on it Let it flow freely. You're blocking this connection by trying to control it. And for the other person, maybe you do need to not so much be in your head, but maybe you do need to reach out. Because if this person doesn't know, then it's a chance that you may miss out on this situation. I feel as though maybe the it's like it's I don't know, it's like a really deep disconnection here. As far as both people. Someone don't know how to come forward and the other person is pushing the, the one that wanna come forward away. Not physically, but mentally. Law of attraction. I thank you guys for watching my reading. I hope it resonated. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't given the video a thumbs up yet, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next videos.